As some of you may know, I have had issues in the past with my mother. I won't go into extreme details, but for this birthday update, we're going to talk about something that isn't completely about myself. You see, when I was a kid, I was born wrong. I had a lot of medical issues, and as I got older, I was diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome. I've learned in time to embrace the fact that I am autistic. It has not always been easy, and things have gotten harder in the last year. You see, I was having mental issues, and I decided to go to a neuropsychologist to have myself analyzed, see if there was anything that had cropped up since the 11 or 12 years between my Asperger's diagnosis and everything else. According to the professional that I had seen, I have a lot of indicating factors that say that I have something known as fetal alcohol syndrome. Now, this syndrome, FAS, occurs when the mother drinks alcohol during her pregnancy. And as some of you may or may not know, my mother has been, for the longest time, an alcoholic. But, looking at the details, I have found that there is no excuse. None. I was a planned child. I was conceived on the second attempt at having a baby. But nobody knew that I actually existed until three or four weeks after. At first, I thought, if she didn't know, it wasn't her fault. Well, she knew. Then I thought, well, maybe back in 91, when I was conceived, they didn't have all this new information that we have now about fetal alcohol syndrome. They did. If you are trying to have a child, and you are aware of the dangers of certain things that you can do, such as the ingestion of alcohol, why the fuck would you drink, knowing you were pregnant? Even if you didn't know, why would you risk it? My parents were trying to conceive. That was their goal, alright? That was, that was the goal to have a kid. She had no reason to drink if she knew that she and my father were trying to have a baby. She shouldn't have even looked at the stuff. And <laughs> while this medical professional has said that it is a possibility that I do have fetal alcohol syndrome, there are a lot of things that don't fit my profile. Just like there are some things for Asperger's Syndrome that do not fit me. There are things with FAS that fit certain parts of me, like how I look, how I think, some birth defects, and there are some things that only fit Asperger's. There are some things with the two that overlap, and there are some things with the two that don't happen to me altogether. The fact that a medical professional told me that it is a likely possibility is enough for me. But if my speech seems stilted, it's because I'm thinking very, very hard about what I want to say. I don't want to fly off the handle. I get my temper from my mother. And apparently I get a lot of other things from her too. 
I try not to hold grudges. I try not to be mean. I'm not a perfect human. I am not a good person. When you get down to it. But she had no fucking right to do what she did. I was not an accident. I was not a surprise. And she was not stupid. The information was all there. She should have fucking known better. But she didn't. And now? <sighs> now, I am coming to a decision. You see... I decided to cut my mother out of my life a few years ago. Not because of FAS, but because of other reasons. The main one being that her drinking problem fucked me up when I was a kid. So, I have come to a decision to cut her out of my life completely. I'm going to go to her side of the family's Christmas party, like I always do. I'm not going to confront her. I'm not going to avoid her. But so help me. So help me. If she... If she tries anything. If she tries to get back into my life after what I know now. I'll show her the temper that I got from her. I'll let everyone know. She doesn't deserve... She doesn't deserve to think that she's not guilty. I admit I was a difficult child. But that is no excuse for her drinking when I was a kid. I was nothing more than a clump of cells inside of her and she decided to fuck me over. Now I understand why I have trouble with certain things. And I'm done. Now I know why I have trouble forming personal connections. Now I know why math is so fucking difficult. Now I know why I have a temper. Now I know why my face is flat. Now I know why I'm built funny. Now I know why I have a heart defect. It wasn't bad luck. It was her being a bad person. What's done is done. There's nothing I can do to change who and what I am. All I can do now is forget about the bullshit she put me through, even before I came to be, and move on with my life. That's all there is left to do at this point. And I do not have any forgiveness left. Good night.